click on the subscribe button to watch more videos on my youtube channel and also click on this bell icon to get all notifications on your mail hi friends in this video i'm going to explain introduction to katia i will explain the all of the series in katia series in my next tutorials you can see the on my desktop i'm using the katia p3 v5 6r 2017 i'm using already installed in my pc I am opening the Katia software. Uh, before opening, uh, what is meant by Katia? Katia is the computer-aided three-dimensional interactive application. This is the most advanced software as compared with the other software. It has a lot of workbenches. Uh, this is the user interface of this uh, Katia software. First, this is the assembly workbench is opening of any of the software like this and closes this one. And you can observe the start file, edit and view, insert tools, uh, same all of the software what you uh, observed. This software also like this only we can observe on the start option on the menu you can observe the mechanical design and the shape and analysis and simulation AC plant designs plant layouts you can lathe machining equipment and systems lot of features are available and different types of tools and features are available in this uh, uh, software in the part design assembly design and sketcher and the productive functional different wireframe and surfacing design. most of the the software is mostly used in automobile industries this is the best software to develop the cards like different assembly parts are also in different as compared with the solid words this katia software in solid words the assembly is very simple and coming to the katia software the assembling is very complicated uh, it gives the exact precision to 0, 0. 0.0 something um, you can observe the this is the infrastructure of the uh, product structures and the material library is there and the photo studio and the real time rendering is there and product data filtering and the future direction dictionary edit also there in this series i will explain the part design workbench and the by assembly design and the sketcher and the drafting workbench and the wireframe and surface workbench i will explain uh, in this series of the ktr basic tutorials and coming to the uh, this is the interface and this is the status bar you can observe on the user interface like this and go on to the mechanical design i uh, opening the part design before going to the part design i will explain the enable hybrid design and the create dormitory culture these both are uh, should on because you want to develop this model in another workbench those are very uh, important to develop the then only what you developing the part it enables the hybrid design with the geometrical set with all of the geometrical set uh, means geometrical dimensions like what are the units are using like this it will these are mostly uh, important to design the part of the any of the one kind of the part one and i'm clicking on the ok before going you want to change the name you can also change the name new file like this i'm giving the new file and click on ok after this is the user this had a lot of features before going to install the the software what is the system requirements already explained what are the system requirements in some of the video is also explained in my previous tutorial and some of the article also written in my website you can also observe in technology tab you can observe that this is the industrial cat tutorials website official and go on to the technology you can observe the what are the softwares what are the best softwares available in under and 50,000 with the graphic cards also explain the cat software system requirements what are the best softwares for mechanical engineers or not only mechanical architecture also it will helps and go on to the uh, this is the top 10 software system requirements coming to the AutoCAD you can see this I will explain with the KTIA this is the KTIA V5 V6 are also available V6 is also there and V5 is there the operating system with Windows 7 8 what are using a few if you are using 32 bit what are the requirements and the 64 bit what are the requirements already explained this is the basic introduction I will explain next in how to develop the models the CPU processor also depends upon the 32 bit processor and the 64 bit processor if uh, you want to uh, install this 2 gigahertz minimum 2 gigahertz of faster speed is required of the any of this software these are these softwares are very high much of RAM is required and the space is also allocation of space is very much should required if you are installing locally C or E any of the drive 
uh, i am suggest to the intel core i3 processors because intel i3 i5 i7 gives the maximum speed of the processor 2 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz if you are in the low budget you want to prefer go with i3 not with dual or core uh, it will somewhat rendering is not good for fast rendering you must and should use the 2 gb graphic card you you does not have a graphic card also this software will runs if you rendering the objects you want to develop in the real time use you must and should use the graphic card to 2 gb to 4 gb if you are using the ram of 2 gb to 4 gb is minimum is required and 64 bit 4 gb to 8 gb is required for rendering you should use the minimum 2 gb to 4 gb graphic card is required uh, most of most of this uh, time all are using 64 beating operating system uh, suggest with, i will suggest the 8 gb ram with 4 gb graphic card intel i3 processor is only you are in real time the catia software uh, you install in your pc this will uh, open very fastly you can also observe i open the software in minimum uh, 5 seconds you want to uh, you are not maintaining the exact graphic card and the ram the software's opening also takes a lot of time this is the basic uh, is required so many lags are also you can achieve. the proper product is also you cannot achieve by using the this requirements the mostly uh, so many done a mistake is system requirements is very important to develop the uh, any of the models in less time system requirement should be large not more not than less you can observe that this is the you can also solve your system requirements and the coral cad the bristles and the hyper mesh wow, so many also video is also available in my youtube you can also check on my channel and coming to the software uh, what is the software this is the new file is created these are the different types of use and the constraints you can sketch based features and the transformation features and different types of features are available you can see this is the uh, sketch here you can also drag like this and i can also put like this you can also uh, rotate these uh, tools like this keep on shift key and press the uh, left mouse key you can observe that it disappears like see the horizontal to vertical position also you can take like this and you can also if not is required you can also drag these objects if you want to uh, increase the xy plane yz plane to minimum press on shift key and the scroll key and can you, you can observe the it will less you can observe the xy plane and the yz plane and zx plane and this is the geometrical set this is the specification tree it is called a specification tree to this is the constraint all the tools will explain in my next series you can observe this is the all of the tools this is the sketcher it has two workbenches the one is the sketcher workbench and the 3d modeling workbench after you develop the model in 3d workbench uh, in nothing but a sketcher workbench after that it develops in 3d for example i am selecting the xy plane it will highlights this is the x plane you can observe this is the y we want to zoom this scroll key and left the mouse and press and hold the right keys and left keys and you can observe i am selecting this plane xy plane and go on to the sketcher you can observe the what is the plane you selected those plane will highlights and go on to the xy and go on to the sketcher you can go on to the sketcher plane immediately you can observe on the this is the xy plane if you what you develop put the model in xy plane it will develops like this and go on to the uh, exit workbench this is the go on to the if you want to exit the sketcher workbench go on to the exit workbench this is the basic introduction of this is the tools you can also uh, use the different types of views are also zoom in and zoom out you can observe the zoom in and zoom out is there you want to select the plane you can also select the plane before going to develop the model the units are very required you can observe the this is the interface all you can understand this is the compass you can also rotate the compass 
by using the x y and the y z position to horizontal and vertical directions also according with the compass you can observe the where is x axis is located and the y is x located and z is located this compass and the new file of the this is the specification tree most important if going to change the any of the settings you want if you are developing in inches or degrees you want to change the units first before going to uh, design the model what are the settings uh, you should follow i will show you and go into the tools you can observe the tools as different customization on that you can observe the options you can observe the options over here and go into the options and the options will appear this is the sketch i located go into the parameters and measurement you can observe the parameters and measurements you can observe the scale and the units over here select the length in millimeters in mm if you want to develop the model in millimeters then millimeter will highlights and six inch length notation values are six and six keep it as same as like this you want to devise the virtuality you want to change the display settings you can also change the display for example tree manipulation and the scroll key in general and user interference style keep it as p2 as a requirement with the this is uh, take it as default uh, what are the requirements are using this is the all out and go on to the sketcher you can observe the primary spacing is 100 mm you can also increase the primary space to 200 mm also keep it as like this these are the basic settings uh, to follow